Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice equation. 1 over 2 minus x is equal to square root of x. And we need to find all possible values of x. Since this x is under radical sign, so this must be greater than or equal to 0. x must be greater than or equal to 0. Because the right side is greater than or equal to 0, the left side this expression 1 over 2 minus x must be greater than or equal to 0. This expression 1 over 2 minus x must be greater than or equal to 0. So, we use these two conditions to check the solutions of this equation. Now, let us start by multiplying both sides of this equation by this expression 2 minus x. 2 minus x times 1 over 2 minus x is equal to square root of x times 2 minus x. Now, this 2 minus x will be cancelled with this 2 minus x and at the left side left 1 is equal to square root of x times 2 minus x. Now, from here we take square of both sides of this equation. So, square of 1 is 1 is equal to according to this property of exponents a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n times b to the power n. This power 2 will become the power of this square root of x and this power 2 will become the power of this 2 minus x. Like this square root of x to the power 2 minus 2 minus x whole to the power 2. Next 1 is equal to this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left x times according to this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This 2 minus x whole squared is equal to 4 minus 4x plus x squared. Next 1 is equal to now we multiply this x by this 4 and this negative 4x and this plus x squared x times 4 4x and x times negative 4x negative 4x squared and x times plus x squared plus x cubed. Now we rearrange this expression and move this one to the right side. First we write this x cubed x cubed and this plus 1 becomes negative 1 at the right side and then we write this negative 4x squared negative 4x squared and in the last we write this plus 4x plus 4x is equal to 0. Now this one this one is same as this one is same as 1 cubed. So, we consider this one as 1 cubed. Now, according to this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. We can factorize this x cubed minus 1 cubed as x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 and from these two terms negative 4x squared plus 4x we can factor out negative 4x negative 4x times in bracket left x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression x minus 1 x minus 1 is a common factor. So, we factor out this x minus 1. 
x minus 1 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this uh, x squared plus x plus 1 and this uh, minus 4x in bracket left x squared plus x plus 1 and this minus 4x minus 4x is equal to 0 x x minus 1 times x squared no this plus 1x minus 4x it becomes negative 3x and then this plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 from here x is equal to 1 this is the first value of x now to find the other two values we solve this quadratic equation this is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula in this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 3 and c is equal to 1 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b minus 3 plus or minus square root of value of b negative 3 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1 next x is equal to this minus and this minus becomes positive 3 plus or minus square root of negative 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 1 4 divided by 2 and x is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4 5 divided by 2 so from here we get two values of x x2 is equal to 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 and x3 is equal to 3 minus square root of 5 over 2 and first uh, we have already found the value of x1 that is 1 so we have three values of x now let's verify these value of x to check the solutions of this equation to verify these values of x we use the conditions We use uh, these two conditions uh, x must be greater than or equal to 0 and 1 over 2 minus x must be greater than or equal to 0. To verify these values of x we check these two conditions. Condition 1 is x must be greater than or equal to 0 and second condition is 1 over 2 minus x must be greater than or equal to 0 first we check this value of x1 1 first value of x1 is 1 so in this condition we put the value of x1 1. 1 is greater than or equal to 0 it is true that 1 is greater than 0 so first condition is true now in the second condition we put the value of x1 1. 1 over 2 minus value of x1 is greater than or equal to 0 1 over 2 minus 1 1 is greater than or equal to 0 and 1 is greater than or equal to 0 this condition is also true and because both of these conditions are true so this is a valid solution now we check this uh, second value of x uh, 3 plus uh, square root of 5 over 2 
in this condition we put this value of x2 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 value of x2 is 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 now it is true that 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 is greater than 0 so this condition is true now in this second condition we put the value of x 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 1 over 2 minus value of x is 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 and this expression must be greater than or equal to 0 1 over 2 minus 3 plus now this is square root of 5 square root of 5 is approximately equal to 2 so we replace this square root of 5 with 2 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 next 1 over 2 minus 3 plus 2 5 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 and 1 over 2 minus 5 over 2 is negative 1 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 now this number 1 over negative 1 over 2 is less than 0 so this condition is false so this value of x2 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 is not a solution now we check this third value of x 3 minus square root of 5 over 2 value of x3 is 3 minus square root of 5 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 next 3 minus square root of 5 is approximately 2 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 and 3 minus 2 1 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 this condition is true because 1 over 2 is greater than 0 now in the second condition 1 over 2 minus x is greater than or equal to 0 we put this value of x3 3, 3 minus square root of 5 over 2 1 over 2 minus the value of x3 is 3 minus square root of 5 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 next 1 over 2 minus 3 minus square root of 5 is approximately 2 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 next 1 over 2 minus 3 minus 2 1 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 and 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 is 1 over 2 is greater than or equal to 0 and it is true that 1 over 1 over 2 is greater than 0 so this condition is true and because both conditions are true so this value of x3 3 minus square root of 5 over 2 is a valid solution